Hey y'all, been a minute. Trying to sort through some audio settings. But hi. Hello to you specifically. It's been forever. Haven't done a media showcase in forever. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of it. Um, I'm kind of only going to go over the stuff that's sort of relevant to the channel. Just other things I think y'all will enjoy. I'll start with the tapes. Old school media showcase fashion. Got our new webcam. I don't know how this is working. We're, we're still sorting it out. We're still setting it up. But uh, I'm going to start off with one that I like. Got some male tears, yo. Trauma Club. Oop. Check it out. I like the red. I don't know if this came in other colors, but I ended up with the red one. Uh, art's nice. It's come so far since the Flores days. Uh, one of the older albums just has his face on it as the thing. It's pretty cool. Um, would check it out, especially if you like um, just goth music. <laughs> it's very synth driven. Uh, it kind of gives me like Sisters of Mercy vibes. Enjoy. Enjoy. It's nice. Um, moving swiftly onward. I was honestly okay. So I got uh, a class of 84. So it was a fucking light. Hold on. Let me see if I can adjust that. Mm. All right, so we got. Let me figure out how cameras work real quick. So we got class of '84, Cat System Court, which I was so excited about to get. Like, just jeez, can you can you imagine? Like six years ago, like oh, cassette copy, class of '84. Now it's just everything gets re-released every three three weeks. So, but yeah, it's the inside of the card and all that. Boom. Oh, I didn't do that for Mail Tears. Let me, let me do that real quick, too. It's been a while, man. I'm not used to the format. Also, the format was never like this, so... Everything's all new, you know? Just all all new and unusual. Um, but yeah, let's... So, back to the male tears. Like... Boom. Boom. Nice and classic. Uh, oh, man, this next one's funny. Uh, it's a boot, I think, from Indonesia, um, but uh, got a plastic love boot. And something that's kind of funny is, um, so it's it's got the full wrap around, but the case is a little interesting because this it won't fit in a normal one because it's got the full wrap around. You know, where like a normal cassette case has the little I don't I don't, know, I don't even know if you can see these on the white, but it's got these little notches here to hold the tape in place. And so on the wraparound, that doesn't work because obviously you'd have to pierce the paper, but on this one, because it doesn't have that, it does the full wraparound. Comes in a little gray tape. But yeah, it's a nice little thing. Excited about it. I haven't listened to it yet. I should probably do that. Speaking of listening, got a Nakamichi back there now. That thing's cool. That thing's so cool. Uh, it was it was one of those where a, a guy who came into work all the time uh, was like, "Hey, I'm selling mine. Would you like it?" I'm just like, "What do you What do you want for it?" He's like, 200 bucks." Like, all right, give me. So uh, I I still need to get the 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 TIAC, which was the old one I was I I, I was using as my normal listening device uh, is having some pinch roller issues so we're swapping it out for the Nakamichi for now I'm going to get that thing fixed just so I can get a little system built in the bedroom but yeah, nice little thing moving swiftly onward sucker for anything with an OB man uh, we got Topaz Gang these look so nice just uh, we got Went for a classic clear green. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. Oof. Um, also, I apologize if something I've already featured shown up in here. It's been over a year since I've uploaded a video. Uh, so, I don't know, man. Some things may have fallen through the cracks. But yeah, we got Topaz Gang, Topaz Gang. I think this one was Midwest Collective, which is cool. Yeah, I... I love these little things, man. Uh, 
I haven't I haven't collected a ton of vaporwave in a minute because, um, to be honest, I don't really like the direction the genre has gone. In that it has no direction and just kind of seems to be re-releasing old things, and the new stuff is derivative of the old things. I don't think it's moving forward any longer, which is unfortunate because um, I really enjoyed what it was doing a few years ago. Controversial statement. That's the hottest take of the video. Promise. Promise. Um, we also picked up uh, Moods by Luxury Elite, which is pretty dope. Let this come out on. I forget what PR is. Some Pacific Plaza. Something else. Um, yeah. Here's our A side. B side. I love when everything's like screen printed onto the cassette itself. It's not like an actual label. Like everything's just there. It's just a nice, uh, it's a nice little touch. So it's like extra, um, not necessarily attention to detail. It's just like a, another method of putting the information on the, on the cassette. Um, I do like the way that the, um, the jacket is. It's just nice, simple, clean. When you walk away, you won't hear me say, please. Baby, don't go. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. But yeah, that's, and then more Luxury Elite. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, it's Fantasy. Which I'm a sucker for the printing on this one as well. I think this is a tiger blood. Sure is. See the little tiger on there. But the printing on there is very nice. You wanna do you wanna focus? You wanna focus? I don't know. Maybe it'll focus. But yeah. Um, I really enjoy the pink shell for this one. I think that fucking how do cameras work, Josh? I really enjoy the pink shell for that. Um, hasn't been used a ton because you could see the, or you can hear it fucking clunking against itself. But yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, I feel like everyone's cassette game is as top tier as ever. Things coming out looking noise, sounding noise. Uh, it's a little sad that the the Type Bs are harder to come by now because now that I have a player that reads them properly, they sound cool. Extra low end, you can tell a little bit. Um, I probably showed this off before. Like I I had to have, but I pulled it out because I don't remember talking about it. It's the uh, Dark of a Distant World, which you know, who cares? We're 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 showing off a beautiful beautiful tape again. Look, look at that. Look at that shit. Oof. Oof, oof. Oh no, I'm gonna get demonetized even though I'm not monetized in the first place. I'm, de I'm definitely sure I've showed this one off before, but whatever, there we go. Um, also, um, I don't know how to say any of this. But this album's really good. Uh, it's got a lot of like, kind of like, melancholy to it. And I'm appreciative of that. But yeah, isn't that nice? Um, and it does have some nice kind of, you know, like, classic Vaporwave art. Not classic, but, you know, an implementation of that, the inside. And it just, it looks really slick. Big, big fan of this one. Big fan of this one. Um, let's get it back in the chaos. Unlike the previous ones, I can't really do, like, that big show-off shot at the end, because we're here. Um, but you can, you can kind of see everything chilling in the background, which I'm a big fan of. Oh, yeah. So, uh, when I moved a couple of years ago, I had a copy of this coming, and even though I put my new address in, the Discogs guy mailed it to the old address, and it didn't get forwarded, so I never never got it. So I had to pick this one up again, and uh, it's pretty slick. Like, I enjoy the blue, Aloe Island Posse, Aloe Island Anthology, and uh, it just looks nice. Um... And like, yeah, it's, um, it's a, my, uh, a my pet flamingo. So pretty sure a, a re-release possibly, but, uh, who cares? It looks nice. Sounds nice. It's more Aloe Island posse. Um, the, 
I forget how I got my uh, Aloe Island Adventures. I want to say it was part of a biz box, like one of the Future Funk classics or something. Um, but it's one of my favorite tapes. I put it on every so often, and I'm just always like, this is good. This is good. Uh, great use of samples. Big fan. Um, also picked up uh, this from uh, Time Slaves. Uh, Deuce. You want to focus there? There you go. Opus Science Collective. Uh, it's just really smooth. It is so smooth. And uh, it's a gorgeous cassette. Like, look at that. It's got that nice gloss finish to it. Just, just oof. Oof. Sounds great. Sounds great. And um, the uh, J-Fold is printed on a nice, thick cardstock. And uh, I don't think you can see it on the camera, but it's got like, it's got almost like a little uh, like shimmer to it. Like there's some uh, like glitter in the printing or uh, something that's not holographic, but like it's got some shimmer to it. Moving swiftly onward, we have the records. Um, and if you follow me on Twitter, like you've been seeing what I've been picking up lately. Um, but this was a get. Uh, somebody got this for my, my birthday last year. Or was it Christmas? I don't know. But I got Slowed Midnight by uh, Cape Coral. And man, oh my gosh, I was so excited to see this one. Um, I didn't even know that they had done a vinyl pressing of it. It's just straight black vinyl, so I'm not going to like pull it out the sleeves or anything, but like it's two disc. Really slick. And if you know me, you know I really like this album. Uh, it's one of my favorite I don't even know if it's Future Funk, but like it's one of my favorite releases. It's just it's so good. It's so it's so catchy. It's so danceable. Just everything on it, you're like noise a lot like a lot like a lot you know and it's just it's one of them happy ones for me um yeah i had, I had no idea that there was uh, a cape coral um record out there for slowed midnight and when i found it it was already going for a hundred on discog so i have no idea because uh the person who got it for me said they didn't pay over over 30 for it and they had to import it i think they imported it from japan somewhere i have no idea where they got it from Pretty excited about it. It's really neat. Um, this one's not vaporwave at all. Not future funk. No, no genres. But I'm. I, I just like it nonetheless. It's the special herbs uh, for MF Doom. It's all those beats. It's a. It kind of looks like a record, right? But it's a. Um, it's a ten cassette box set. Not ten cassette. It is a five cassette box set with ten sides. Um, that's super nifty. Big fan. Uh, this is a great one to put on. If you've got like uh, guests over and you're having conversation. There's no lyrics or anything to pay attention to. It's just the beats, but like, it's good. It's a good one. You're just just kind of like bobbing along. And I know that there's you know, MF Doom fans and Vaporwave, so be haters. Uh, also picked up a uh, Currents by Tame Impala. I know that that's not Vaporwave at all, but I wanted to show it off because I like it. Take that. I can do what I want. It's my channel. Uh, this one's not Vaporwave either, but uh, it's Calm Trues in Decay 2. Um, before I had really heard of Vaporwave, uh, actually this is well before I heard of Vaporwave. I was still working at the old office before Alex sent me Macintosh Plus. But um, yeah, uh, I was listening to like Calm Trues and um, I forget who else, really. But it was just like really nice, chill, kind of like lower tempo like retro sounding synth and I was like this is really neat and I think that really opened the door for me getting into something like Vaporwave in the future um, so that was kind of a was kind of a nice one um, I'm pretty sure I haven't shown this off but we got the uh, Alive 2021 which I was super super psyched about uh, it is on is it clear vinyl let's get it out of there Oh, yep, sure enough. You can even see it. I'm looking at you through the vinyl. But yeah, it's super nifty. Big fan. I like anything that's like a little wonky, a little weird. Ah, how do my hands work, man? Just trying not to send this disc flying. Mm -hmm. Get in the sleeve. There we go. Yeah, Alive 2020, I was really excited about that. Um, 
let me go over just a couple more things and we'll close with something nifty. Um, yeah, I also been getting really into like New Order over the past couple of years. It's power corruption and violence and brotherhood. I have technique as well, but that's just hiding in its own little spot. I've also been trying to pick up more City Pop. Um, I do have on the way the uh, Plastic Love 12 inch single release because it's iconic. You might as well get it. Uh, but I did import uh, Melodies by Tatsuro Yamashita, which is great. And then I've been seeing these pop up. A uh, couple collections, sorry for whacking the mic there, of the, the Pacific Breeze. And uh, they're really nice. They're, they're, they're good City Pop collections. And especially because, you know, like the only things you really get here are like singles and like the, the weird reissue is like the music doesn't really have an audience outside of Japan. Um, other than, you know, weird people who like Vaporwave and like Future Funk and know, know where the samples are from. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to get, so it's nice. Uh, lastly, we're going to go over, um, uh, one I was really happy about, which is Sunday television. Um, I actually worked on Late Night Lights 1 for Utopia District. I did the, uh, video for Vanity, and, um, that was, like, the highlight for me was Corp coming on and doing, like, a Sunday television bit. I was just like... <laughs> what excuse me um that was so cool for me um and uh yeah I, honestly uh that, that whole weekend was nice uh working on um like late night lights was a lot of fun i think late night lights too just happened um if you watched it awesome if you didn't you could go check out the go, go check out the live stream feed the the, the fucking the whatever um but yeah this one's off of needle juice and it's just very pretty. Um, I do like that Corp works with Needle Juice because their their records are usually pretty sick. It plays at 45 because supposedly 45 is better audio quality. I can't speak to that. Is it? No, well, it could be. Uh, is it noticeable for me personally? Not so much. Uh, pretty upfront and honest about that kind of stuff. Like upgrades that made a lot of sense for me were like speakers uh when i upgraded my speakers the audio went from like cool to like fuck cool you know um and like upgrading like like larger components but i think smaller things like running things at 45 rpm instead of um 33 doesn't for me at least uh on the uh equipment that i have doesn't make the biggest of differences but still like it still nice um but yeah I probably won't do another one of these. I think this this may be the last one. I've really slowed down on collecting uh, Vaporwave Future Funk specifically. I'm just collecting more the classical, not classical, but like uh, like other like albums that I've wanted to get my hands on for a while. I guess classic albums for me. Um, like picked up a copy of The Chronic, picked up a copy of uh, Plick Doggy Style by Snoop Dogg, picked up. Um, some old Nirvana on cassette because like I just didn't have any. Picked up some old Iron Maiden on cassette because I just didn't have any. You know, um, been picking up uh, some more modern releases too, like some uh, uh, like Kruger Ben. I don't know how you say their name, but it's been fun. Uh, I've been picking up, um, yeah, just I don't know other things I've listened to like the War on Drugs, which has been nice. It's been nice. Uh, I think musically turning a new page. Um, I still want to do like audio stuff on here. Still want to like show off records or audio equipment that I think is cool or uh, stuff that I'm listening to. If y'all want to listen to that, I also may start streaming on the side. It just cause, you know picked up a, a webcam as you can see. Um, but uh, yeah, honestly, if you've supported the channel so far, thank you so much. Um, you know, I did never give away that copy of Pursuing Paradise Memories, even though I'm over 200 subscribers now. Um, if you have an idea for how you'd like that given away, please pop in the comments. Let me know. Um, if you kind of like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, if there's anything that you um, would like to see, please let me know. I'll do whatever. I mean, like the, 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 as long as it makes sense to do. <laughs> you know play some guitar or just whatever go over the dumb collectibles i have i don't know i don't know if anything's interesting let me know uh, if it's not also let me know 
you'd like to see music reviews, I could start up the catalog project again. The catalog that I have is much bigger than it used to be. Um, could do that and maybe maybe revisit some albums that I really, really enjoyed from a few years ago with a more critical eye because a lot of time has passed. I, I don't know. Just let me know if there's something you like. If there's not, also, whatever. Thanks. Thanks for, thanks for being here. I like y'all. Bye.